Should you train to failure? I'm going to talk about that in this video and a whole lot more. Should you train to failure? Uh, that's a question that's often asked of me. Uh, let's talk about what failure actually is. Uh, I guess the obvious uh, explanation for failure is you're trying to do that one last rep. Maybe uh, you're shooting for six to eight or eight to 12 reps, whatever it may be. You're in your rep range and uh, you just can't go anymore. You, you fail, maybe you're halfway up, just can't get that last rep in pushing yourself to failure, failure to execute that last rep. Uh, failure could also be that you're going for that one more rep, and maybe you actually even finish the rep, uh, but you've compromised uh, the form too much uh, in your estimation. So it's, it's a failure because you didn't use that strict form feeling and execution. So failure uh, could be defined as not getting that last rep or compromising uh, your ideal form, that form, feel, and execution that you're shooting for, uh, you failed, but you still got to wrap up. So should you train uh, to failure? Well, this is what I have learned uh, from uh, my journey, uh, trying to become my best, pushing myself, and learning from uh, a lot of the, uh, the top mentors and coaches uh, uh, who have uh, shown me along the way, that failure is many times it's mental, it's emotional, more than it is something black and white and physical, right? Sure, on the outside surface, right, uh, you didn't get the rep up, you failed, right? That's the uh, most basic understanding. Or if you compromised your form, that's not always so black and white, uh, but you don't have that ideal form, so you failed, right? Uh, progressive overload is what you are shooting for when you do every single set. You wanna push yourself, uh, to do one more rep, sometimes even one half a rep, five more pounds, right, with one more rep. Better form, feel, and execution, that mind-muscle connection, just pushing yourself to do a little bit better, however you measure it, one more rep, five more pounds, better form, feel, and execution. Uh, that is your target for every set. Right? Progressive overload, just a little bit better in those factors every single set. That is uh, more of a mental and emotional game, uh, more than it is uh, physical sometimes. Think about this, that in life, there's always a higher level. You think you work hard, you're doing uh, well, you keep on pushing yourself, you'll understand that in life you can always work harder, you can always raise your standards, you can always get more out of yourself. And uh, that's the fun of life, that's the game, that's the challenge, that you never have that down. You gotta be humble to always be striving for more. Well, that's the same thing uh, when you execute every set. You gotta have that same mentality, that there's always a higher level, right? So is it absolutely true that you can reach that failure on every set when you know that there's always a higher level? See, I know uh, through my, my many years of training that in the right conditions, I can get that one more rep. In the right conditions, I can get five more pounds, all right? I've, I've experienced it and maybe you have too. So to go in there with the limit that uh, you are limited to that you are actually even achieving failure in every set, all right? You're probably pulling up short uh, just by boxing yourself in. Uh, you should go for failure to every set, knowing that even when you think you achieve that, there is always a higher level. Well, let's talk about that, uh, that weight, all right? Uh, uh, that rep at that particular weight, should you fail. Now, let me just make this uh, absolutely clear that form, feel, and execution, the mind-muscle connection is more important than that one more rep, even going to absolute failure, five more pounds. All right, it's that mind-muscle connection you have to stimulate the targeted muscle group. Now it's, now it's how strong I am, mentally tough I am 
to get to those higher levels. Right? A lot of times you can surprise yourself by going for that one more rep. And even if you don't get it, even if you don't get it, you might step back and say, I can get that the next time. But you have to actually feel it. You have to experience it. You can't go by theory. You have to push yourself uh, for that failure. And if you really think about it, if you can get a half a more rep, right, that half rep, even though you failed, uh, stopping before you even trying that half rep, are you really at absolute failure? Because really, that the failure started halfway. So if you stop below and you don't even try, you're actually not even going to failure anyway. All right. Also, when it comes to that form, feel, and execution, well, I got the rep, up, but I failed uh, because uh, I got a little wobbly uh, with the set. All right. Again, never hurt yourself. But a lot of times, and this is true of sports, is that you have to do it wrong. Uh, so your body can experience it, your mind can experience uh, you, you have to uh, feel yourself doing it wrong uh, before you can start doing it right. right? You get in there and next time, you know what, I, I, my form suffered, but I think I can get that. I think I can get that next time. I don't think I have to uh, stop short on the rep. I don't think I have to uh, uh, reduce my weight five more pounds. I think I could get it, and guess what? You push yourself, maybe not the next set, uh, maybe not the set after it, but a week later, two weeks later. It's that mindset. That's what makes this training a fun game. So boxing yourself in and say, I'm not going to go to uh, failure, all right? You're probably not going to failure anyway. And I have that humility with myself is that I never think, ah, oh, I, I train so hard. Even at my level, I know that there's always a higher level, and I have that empowering belief. I don't box myself in. I don't create a limiting belief about what failure is. So should you go to failure for every set? Yes, knowing that there's going to be a higher level. And whatever you think failure is now, two weeks from now, two months from now, you'll realize that wasn't failure. That mindset, that determination, that game you made out of it created a new level for failure anyway. So when it comes to failure, should you train to failure for every set, you'll understand that it's a game, it's a mind game, it's mental and emotional, uh, probably a lot more than it's physical because there's always that higher level. Hey, if you love this information that is speci specifically designed for older men with uh, busy, productive lives, then you want to go to manformationworkouts.com. Manformationworkouts.com, I've got a members only website that's just for men who are just like me, just like you, wanting more uh, strategies uh, that. Uh, Deal with our mindset, our life, our structure, our schedule, uh, training routines, uh, videos, uh, podcasts, audios, uh, printed out routines, images, everything you need for that information and inspiration to take your physique at this age, at this stage of your life, with your goals to the next level. So go to manformationworkouts.com, fill out that questionnaire. Fill out that questionnaire thoroughly. When you do, I look those over, I'll issue you, you a username and password for instant lifetime access. But when you fill out that questionnaire, I can really just feel and uh, your passion through the words that you wrote. You told me about your situation. I will reach out to you. If you get a call from the 925 area code, a text from the 925 area code, that's me, right? Because I was impressed by your determination, the way you filled out that questionnaire. So you're gonna get a username and password for instant lifetime access anyway. But since you're doing it, do it 100%. Go to absolute failure, <laughs> all right, when you're filling out that questionnaire. And I'm going to reach out to you. So when you get that call or text from the 925 area code, it's because I'm impressed by your determination. I want to talk to you for 10 or 15 minutes and uh, see if there's one distinction, one strategy that uh, I can clear up for you to get you to that next level. So go to manformationworkouts.com, uh, uh, fill out that questionnaire, get your username, and password absolutely free to the Workouts for Older Men Members Only website. Maybe you and I will be talking. If you have a question, make sure that you post in the comment section. I have a link down below, skiplacore.com, ask a question. Skiplacore.com, front slash ask dash a dash question. Uh, click that link down below and ask your question and do more than that. Uh, tell me about uh, your goals, your challenges, what you've done so far, and uh, I will do everything as your coach, as your friend, uh, going through this journey of life to uh, reach out. When you uh, take your time, you fill out that uh, questionnaire, you fill out your question, 
Every single week, I am going to award a 90-minute coaching session uh, for the best question of the week. For the best question of the week, you're going to get a 90-minute one-on-one coaching session with me. We'll talk about training, nutrition, how to put it all together. The calls will be recorded, so you can listen uh, to our conversation, your coaching session, you and me privately, one-on-one for 90 minutes over and over again. Uh, so. Uh, that you can learn from it over and over again. Uh, as you uh, take the lessons that I've learned that we've talked about, your training routine, your nutrition, and then you move forward with that practical application of it, uh, you'll be listening to the recording that maybe we did three weeks ago, three months ago, and you'll uh, learn at a higher level, right, now that you have the practical application. So uh, in addition to the 90 minutes of doing our coaching session, if you ask the best question of the week, All right, you're going to get that recording to learn from over and over again. All right, so click that link down below. Ask your your question. Good luck with that. If you like this video, uh, make sure that you like it. Make sure you're subscribed uh, to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, Post your comments, your questions, and suggestions down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video.